Zan Kokuna Ten Shino Lazy Town Shonen Yoshin Waharambe Memes. Some people love them. Some people hate them. Today we're making a video about a meme, and you've got to hear me out on this one. Because this meme is actually really heartfelt. It's special, and it's meaningful. Or should I say memingful? Who the fuck wrote this line? You're getting fired! I'm telling you that it's meaningful because I know that some of you are probably thinking to yourselves, Got Drums, really? A video about a meme? Is that what your channel is really about? Yes, absolutely. I've memed all the time, I just cleverly disguise it. I made an entire song about Harambe, so it's pretty much official that I'm a cornerstone in the YouTube meme marketplace. So, let's get down to business. There's this old kids TV show from the 2000s called Lazy Town. It was absolutely delightful. Until the internet got a hold of it, that's when it all went south. So, uh, thanks, internet. Thanks for, uh, doing that. Years passed, and Lazy Town memes died along with iPod Nanos and AIM Instant Messenger. But ever so recently, a man with a YouTube channel called Mr. Mr. Mango Head came along and revived Lazy Town, resurrected it from the salty depths. He has dozens, no, hundreds of videos with basically the same idea. Let's take a look at one. That was a song from Lazy Town, while the video constantly zooms into various things. Yes, you heard me correctly. That's the meme, folks. Hundreds of videos about the song We Are Number One from Lazy Town, but edited in different ways. For example, there's We Are Number One, but all the ones are replaced with the entire song played again at 300% speed. Or how about this one? We are number one, but every time they say the word one, it's replaced with Prince Charming dying from the Shrek movie. Finally, and, and this one's one of my favorites, we are number one, but every original one is replaced with an entire episode of Lazy Town. I gotta give credit to you, Mr. Mr. Mango Head. You're really making a statement when you're uploading videos that are five hours long just for the heck of it. You've built an entire fan base, an entire YouTube channel off of this one joke. Oh, and by the way, guys, if you're gonna go watch any of these videos, be warned. There are some very loud noises in some of them. Mr. Mango Head isn't afraid to make videos like We are number one, but the word one triggers duplication and makes the video slow down, resulting in things like this by the end of the video. Now, Mr. Mr. Mango Head, here's the real question. Why did you do this? The simple answer would be memes for memes sake, but that's too easy. Plus, I kinda already spoiled it and told everyone at the start of the video that this meme is really special and heartfelt. A lot of people have been hearing about this meme, but not many people know that the real reason this guy is spamming YouTube with these videos is because the actor from Lazy Town that plays the villain, Robbie Rotten, He's gotten pancreatic cancer. Stefan Carl, a beautiful man who has done things like create a foundation to help stop bullying and helping special needs children, got pancreatic cancer, had surgery, and is now in recovery, unable to work. Now, Mr. Mr. Mango Head, whoever he is behind the YouTube screen, is making these videos solely to raise awareness for this actor. The We Are Number One song is copyrighted, so he's not even making money off of most of these videos. Why is Mango doing this? Is he related to the actor? Is, is he his good friend? That doesn't matter. Mr. Mr. Mango Head is doing something amazing. Using memes to help someone in need. Mr. Mr. Mango Head is the secret hero of YouTube. An angel descending from heaven with the Cory in the House theme song playing in the background while he wears a Shrek movie t-shirt. Mr. Mango Head, you the real MVP. Thank you for your service. And hey guys, Stefan Carl's GoFundMe campaign is a few thousand dollars away from its goal. I've never really seen what the power of the Got Drums family can do, so if you guys want, I left a link to the GoFundMe in the description if you want to support him. Cool. That's the video, guys. It was a fun one. And not only fun, but filled with meaning. I'll see you guys in my next video where I go back to making terrible puns and shitty jokes that don't help people with cancer. Fuck. What am I doing with my life? It's that boy, oh shit, what up? Otobashiru, Ted Cruz is the Zodiac Killer. Omoide wo Uri Guru suck my dick. Fucking memes, dude.